Hello and thank you for watching this InnoGraph training video on creating an NDVI image using Erdas Imagine. We'll start today with an open instance of Imagine and a Landsat scene loaded into the viewer. The image you see here is a subset of a full Landsat image focusing in on a river valley within Washington State. It's displayed using a near-infrared band combination and you'll notice the vegetation as shades of red and our bare ground areas being displayed as a cyan blue color. Our objective today is to create an NDVI image using the indices dialog within Erdas Imagine. In this video, we'll see how to find and open the indices dialog, check and set our NDVI preferences, look at and preview the image, and finally generate and output NDVI image. To begin, we need to open the NDVI dialog within the Imagine ribbon. I'll use the Help tab to search for NDVI and help me locate its location within the Imagine ribbon. In the search commands, I can type NDVI and click Search. The software provides me with two options to launch the NDVI functionality directly from the Help tab. I can also hover over one of these buttons to find the location of this functionality within the Imagine ribbon. This is a great way to learn where to find this functionality the next time I need it. I can see here that it's found in the Raster tab under the Classification group. I can simply click Raster, find the Classification group, and open NDVI. This is the Indices dialog box. To get started, we'll need to define our input and output file names. You can see here that our input file has been predefined as subset.img. This is based on the image loaded in the Imagine viewer when we launch the indices dialog. Next, we'll need to define the output file name. I can use my file chooser button to define the location for the output file. Once that's finished, I can simply go into the dialog box, type in the output file name, and click Enter. The sensor also needs to be defined. You can see here that it's currently set to Landsat 4 TM 6 bands. The selection is based on the header information that's associated with the input image. If I open the drop-down menu, I can see a few other options that are available, and I can select them if necessary. In this case, Landsat 4 TM, or the default option, is exactly what I need. The Index Options tab allows us to see the index that's defined, the formula that's being used, and also make any modifications to the band selections that are being used to fulfill the formula. In our case, the index being used has been predefined as NDVI. This is because we use the NDVI option within the ribbon to launch the indices window. If we open up the drop-down menu, you can see that there are a lot of other indices that are available based on the sensor that's defined. If you're using a different sensor, you may see a modified list. Once I'm happy with my preferences, I can generate a preview image by clicking the preview button. The software will launch a second viewer showing me the results of the NDVI index. I can preview the image and see if the formula creates the expected results. With the preview window open, I can now make changes to the band selections being used to define the near infrared and the red bands within the formula. I can do this by simply moving the check marks within the band selection window. You can see that when these check marks are moved, it gives me a live automatic update in the preview window. We'll now set it back to the original. When I'm happy with the preview, I'm ready to generate the output image. I click OK. The process list will show me the status of the NDVI image. When it says Done, I can click Close. I can close the preview viewer. I can now open the NDVI image. This concludes today's video on NDVI. For more information on available training opportunities, please visit our website and follow the links to the training page.